Hello and welcome to the next chapter in this ongoing series of tutorials that will help familiarize you and improve your skills in Corel Paint Shop Photo Pro X3. This is Robert Corel. In today's short lesson I'm going to show you the basics of how to work with the advanced color balance options. For this video I'm going to start on the desktop again so you can see how to launch Corel Paint Shop Photo Pro X3, go through the organizer which is now a major front end to the program and select your photos and move to the editor to edit them. I'm going to add a folder to this folder list called Working, which is on my desktop and has four subfolders in it. And I've got four categories of things that I've been working on, and I'm going to select one of those, Advanced Color Balance Options, select a photo to make it appear in the preview window, and then just select Full Editor to continue on to the editor. Now, this is a photo of my daughter Grace and we're at the zoo. It's not a perfect photo, but it's a nice enough photo to show you how to work with color balance problems. And this photo has a greenish tint to it because you can see the green trees then reflected in the green water, which turns the water essentially green. And now she has a green shirt on. The cumulative effect of all this is the photo is too green. To attack that problem, resolve it, select Adjust Color Balance. And that opens up this Color Balance dialog box, which I will go to the default mode first here. Take a look at that. Um, select Preview on Image to see the changes you make in the dialog box show up here in the main image. Uh, the initial options are, are very simple. You've got Cooler, Warmer. Cooler makes the photo look bluer, it takes some of the the yellows and browns out. Warmer gives the photo a yellow or goldish cast and then different strengths in between. Sometimes you can make a photo look really good with just these simple controls. Sometimes you need to work at it a little more. In this case, setting it to a little bit warmer doesn't look too bad. I'm going to just toggle the preview on image so you can see the difference. I kind of like that. But there's more to this dialog box than meets the eye. If you select advanced options, you can see now a lot of what looks like complex information here. Temperature and tint and then another temperature and tint control. To work through these, first it's a good idea to check smart select here. And now I'm going to uh, maximize this here so we can zoom in. going to select a black, white, or gray object in the photo up here to then set the correct temperature and tint setting. So if you find something, try to find a pure black, white, or gray spot in the picture on the left side, and then that changes these settings, these temperature and tint settings down below. Sometimes this takes a lot of trial and error, because you can see my my initial click in her eye, the before, and see how it's reflected in the after doesn't really look that good. It looks even worse. So I can try it again. I can let the program find a spot for me and this found this part of the sky which it thinks it's white. Or I can look around for other areas of the photo like and zoom in really close. Down here looks maybe that should be black. Click here at that. That doesn't look too good or too bad. I, I don't know. It's still a little green maybe. It's cool it down and and turned up this green setting a little bit on the tent. Uh, so trial and error. Just keep at it until you find the right area to click. Sometimes maybe black or white isn't the best choice. Sometimes maybe you need to find a gray piece. So let's look on the coastline here and select this gray. See how that turns out. Not too bad. Let's reduce that back to a more normal proportion so we can see the main window. Now I'm going to toggle this preview again. You can see the difference. What's happened is the images, the image has been cooled some and then the screen setting has been reduced. The tent. Now from here we can fine tune 
continue to fine tune temperature and tint with the controls at the bottom. You can make it cooler or warmer. And basically you pick them until the photo looks good. And in this case, I think adding warmth to her skin tones makes it look better. But then I want to take out some of the green, which kind of cools it off, but makes it look more natural to me. So here, in the end, we have a result where the photo is warmer, I think, but has less of a green cast to it. And you can fine tune that and continue to work with this quite a bit. Try to get just the right color settings, but I think that's pretty, pretty good. So press OK to lock those in place, and then you're ready to continue working on contrast and brightness and other issues to, to retouch this photo to its finish.